This old ping pong table is an awesome place to just catch random clutter, but it's not the sturdiest, so I want to build a table to take that roll, and for that I've already planed down some 2x4s, now I just need to cut them to length and joint them. Assuming the table is square, that's a little bit past 45, so I need to let that out just a tiny bit. Now while cutting 45 degree angles, the blade often pushes the stock this way, so I'm just going to put it on there with a clamp. That clamp was actually a bad idea because sometimes squeezing it like that, it would cause the back end to lift. And if that's the case, the cut being 45 degrees ends up not being square. This one, I just held down by hand and it's close enough. I'm going to drill two dowels here with the pant rotor. I'm actually drilling these bigger than the bit by sweeping around a circle with the follower. And that will make a uh, 15 millimeter hole. This has taken a while to line up. The problem with 45 degree cuts is you can't line up one thing at a time. It's always a compound sort of alignment problem. Dowels are going to join the apron rails together like this, and between are going to be some legs, except I don't want these holes this close to the edge, so I'll make that out of something a little bit wider. I can put those tapers against each other, and that way I get two pieces of table leg out of this piece of 2x6 with only this and this bit wasted. Having carefully set my table saw to 45 degrees, I'd rather use the other table saw to make some straight cuts so I can still use that 45 degree setting later. I just realized when that hole goes through, it's going to mill into my pant rotor fence. So I'll just move that out here and have another stop block here and that'll support the workpiece just fine. Got the apron rails and the legs. I put a round over on the edges and the dowels. Question now is how well does this go together? Hmm. These holes are a little too tight. I'm not sure how I did that wrong. Well, that joint closed good, and the angle is square. Only problem is I can't really apply clamps very well to uh, squeeze it. I just made a bunch of these things which go on here like so and that way I can squeeze it. Well, that one closed up remarkably good, all things considered. I think I'll let the glue dry on this now before I go any further. And it does have a bit of a twist to it. I think that's because this piece of wood has actually got a twist to it. But uh, once I put it on the floor, it'll probably straighten. We got the table on the bench. The next two joints are going to be trickier.
So that other joint went on a lot more elegantly. Yeah, it's almost like I'm starting to get the hang of this. I got all the legs on there, but it does have a little bit of twist to it. But I figured the weight of the table should be able to fix that. Just to make this clear, if you don't drill a pocket hole, they're not pocket holes. This 2x4 in the middle is to help support the top, which will be fairly thin. And I just had the idea of twisting it as I screw it on. And then when I release that clamp, that untwisting will counteract the twist that the table has. So it'll straighten it out a little bit. So now resting on the bench, it's only a tiny little bit twisted still. It's for making these cuts here that I left my saw set at 45 degrees. The reason I put these blocks in is so that I could put some big screws through the legs like that to give it extra hold. And I also reverse twisted the table while I put those in, so basically counteracting the twist that it had. And now with the clamps off, there's hardly any twist. I'm reusing the old ping pong tabletop for the top for this table. Using some kind of a cart to support the end of the sheet as I'm pushing it through the saw would work much better if I had better casters on this table. Now I still need some trim for the edges. And the reason this table is so wide is because I figure I'll put clutter on it from either edge. Just putting a bar clamp on the edge and driving a wedge behind it is a really effective way of edge clamping. Who would have thought that half a ping pong table would be kind of unstable? I didn't want to jump in the middle of the table because I don't have that much faith in the particle board. I don't think it's all that strong. And I used the rest of that ping pong table to make a uh, simple uh, rolling sort of table and you can still play a, a very uneven game of ping pong and the nice thing is with the legs at the corners not like the ping pong table i've got room for these rolling boxes which i made to go under another shelf two and a half years ago